And our thanks to our chief investigative journalist, Morgan Lowe, for that story. Meantime, the state has just two days left to release its guidelines on when kids can get back into the classroom. But health officials in the county, they're not waiting around. They put out their own benchmarks today, laying out what they want to see before students can safely go back to school. The county's top doctor said they want to see the numbers drop, and they also want to see a decrease in the percent of positive cases, and that percent positivity rate as one we hear a lot about when it comes to reopening schools. So our Whitney Clark spoke with an expert about what that number means, why it's so important, and what it certainly means for reopening those schools. Maricopa County health officials making it clear today they do not think it's safe for kids to be back in the classroom yet, and one number is a big factor. A few of the benchmarks we're actually doing well and successful on. However, our percent of positivity is not at a place where we would say it is safe to bring all students and teachers back to um, in-person learning. Health experts say the positivity rate should fall below 5%. Dr. Shad Marvasti with the University of Arizona College of Medicine says that specific number is based on models developed around the world. When it's low, it means the virus is not as widespread and we have adequate testing. Right now, we're essentially not doing contact tracing, even though we're increasing resources towards that. We just have too much spread and we don't have enough testing being done. He says mask mandates have helped in Arizona, so have steps like closing gyms and bars. Because if we had to choose a priority in terms of what's open and what's closed, we definitely want to prioritize schools because it's critical to get kids back in school. And it's even more important for kids who come from underserved and disadvantaged uh, background, as well as those in black and brown communities who have been disproportionately impacted by this. The state health department is set to release its benchmarks for in-person learning by Friday. Now, the state superintendent says while these numbers will not be mandated, districts can use them to make their own plans. For Arizona's Family, I'm Wendy Clark.